fly. Basically, no, well, it's a bit like sort of Christmas Island special variant. Sort of quite a lot of bone fish fly really, but quite simple to tie on a good hook for trigger fish. You know, you can knock them up fairly quickly, and you don't need to worry so much about losing them or whatever. Um, you can tie them in a range of colours. See here, I've got an orange version. Chartreuse. I've got it. A bit more like a gotcha kind of colour scheme, tan and pink. So you can tie them up, vary them to suit yourself. Colours you like. Um, if you're going somewhere for bonefish that has triggers, these are worth having because you can keep them um, keep them ready to go. F ready to go. You know you can have that. You can be fishing bonefish with these flies, but they're tied in a good stout hook, and you you've got a better chance of landing a trigger fish if you come across them. So I've got a size four owner fly liner in the vise. You can tie them twos, sixes if you like. Just ch change the size to suit your own preference. Got just run down a bed of thread and go slightly round the bend, just round the start. And I'm going to come back to about an eye width away from the behind the eye. And I'll tie in my bead chain. Obviously, if you like, you can use. You can use uh, lead dumbbells, whatever you prefer really. Make sure your eyes are nice and level, get them on nice and tight. And then You're ready to tie in your tail. The tail and body, I just always use the same uh, material. I'll just use some, whether it's crystal flash, some type of flash material. For this white version, I'm just using ordinary pearl crystal flash. Well, it's actually H2O twist from the Fly Tires dungeon, but it's, it's just a crystal flash type material. Take four strands for this size, and catch them in. Put that into behind the eye. I can run it back. I'll make sure that's nicely secured. Then, just to measure the tail, I just pull it forward. Trim it just in front of the eye. And that's just nice. And then I'll run my thread up and down a couple of times to help give a nice white underbody so the pearl shines through instead of the black of the hook. And I'll bring my thread to the front, a loose wrap, and then just draw the material back, take a little wrap here. And then you can tighten down, and that's that's it, nice and secure, nice and neat. Know whether I've got a wee straggler there, just come in and trim that away. There we go. Then just going to wind this then. See the beauty of this stuff is it's much longer than your average crystal flash, it's like three times as long. Just build up a nice body. Here. 
once you're sort of happy with the shape you can wind it through the eyes tie it off I'm using very th fine thread I'm using 70 denier because this is quite a small hook um, and I don't have a lot of room at the head and it lets you get plenty of wraps in so I've trimmed off my waist I'm going to set them aside uh, they'll do in the wing and then I'm going to whip finish this finish off the body section. It's always a good idea to try to tie maybe half a dozen or so of these at least um, and do the bodies first. Like if, if I was only tying one or two just to top up my box I'd just I'd do, I'd do them and all together you know just uh, lacquer up the body, swap it to start the next one and then it's ready by the, next, by the time you're finished the next fly so I'm going to give it this, I give these a couple of coats of head cement, you could use a UV resin but I don't I don't really know that it saves any time right. um, just rotate that take it away and put it in the wheel so we don't get any sag and then I'll just pick up a finished one. As I say, if you do look, if you're tying a lot, you can sit and knock up, you know, 20 bodies. You know, if you're tying a tan and a pink and a orange or whatever, you can still do all the bodies together. Get them all ready, then come in and finish with the wings. So, got to start. the thread back on, in this case I'm using a fluorescent orange and I'm going to take a little bit of white Arctic Fox nice and sparse I think one of the problems I see most of the time with people bone fish flies is that they're too heavily dressed now, unless you're going somewhere where they really like big flies, I mean Hawaii you can fish quite a big chunky fly for them you seem to be quite like that in Oahu things like the Simram but most places that I've fished it's sparse is the key so really small thin patch uh, and that holds true for any of these kind of smaller shrimpy flies with sparse, sparse wings Helps have that sort of translucent effect. So I've just run the velcro through. If you run the velcro through, it sort of opens up the the fox and lets you see how dense it is and gives you a good good idea of what your kind of wing you're going to get. So I'm going to tie this in just short of the tail. I'm going to get a pinching loop. Another turn. Make sure it's positioned on top. Cut the wraps, tighten that down, come in and tie it off close. Tidy up. Then got my crystal flash, cut the strands. side, take the end away and fold it over, tidy up, that's it, it's nice and secure, it can't pull out, just trim the ends, and then the last thing really is a, a rubber leg, just using a 
white leg with black barring. Obviously you can use whatever leg. You know, like white with a, a pearly white with an orange tip might be quite nice. Up to you. So I'll trim this off. I just want half a length. A silly leg. And I'll save the other half for the next fly. And then I'll just fold it around the thread. Put it up straight. And just tie back. When you've got a few wraps of thread, just let it go and see where it's sitting. And you can see which which uh, side of the leg it wants to go to which side of the bend. Or which side of the hook. And you just pull it back. Keep it tight and keep your thread turns touching so that you don't get a bump. If you get a bump, then trap it and you'll never get rid of it. Then just... There you go. That's it tied in. And just I like to just make sure I've covered up, build up a nice wee bright head, so you've got enough thread that the darkness of the leg, the leg barring doesn't affect the colour. Now just come in, a couple of hot finishes for security. One is probably fine, but. The second one doesn't eat anything. And it does no harm at all. I'm just sort of positioning the thread with my wraps there. Yeah, I'm pulling it tight. I'm going to hold his nails. Go for a good, a good coating. And then that's you done. A nice, simple wee fly. As I say, it's a bit like Christmas Island special. A gotcha or something. Nice wee fly for triggers and bone fish. Easy to tie. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll tie some of these up and go and catch some fish on them. Um, thanks very much for watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe if, uh, for more HD fly tying videos. Thanks very much guys. Bye.